things that maybe they've never seen before today. God, keep all of our kids safe today, God. And God, I just thank you so much for our children's ministry, God. I thank you for what Pastor Pat has built, God, but I thank you so much for what that team is building currently, God. And God, I just ask right now, Lord, that a love, and not just a love, God, and a zeal for you, but a passion begin to just birth in their little hearts, God, like they've never seen before, God. Lord, that they would just develop an interest, God, in the things of you. And God, I just ask right now, Lord, for their tiny little hearts, that you would just continue to show them things well beyond their years, that they would begin to prophesy, that they would begin to just begin to sing in the Spirit and not even know what they're doing. But God, that you would just open up doors for our young people that they've never experienced before. God, I pray for our youth. God, I just thank you for what they are accomplishing. And God, this year being a year of capacity, God, that you would just begin to illuminate that to their hearts even more, God. God, I just pray for the leadership of that group, God, that you continue to teach them. And I pray, Lord, that you knit the hearts of that youth group together, Father. May the young leaders begin to rise up in a brand new way, God. That they wouldn't just experience the passion and the excitement of the moment, but they would learn to live in that and take it into everyday life. That we grow young ministers of the gospel in those groups, God. God, we dedicate them all to you today, God. We dedicate their little lives, their hearts, their passions, everything that they are, God. We just surrender every bit of it to you, God. And we say you take them and mold them the way that you want to, not the way that we want to or the way that we think Expression Church wants to. No, it's all about you, God. And God, I just ask today, Lord, that you bless our choir, our worship, as we begin to lead people people into your presence and not just into it but God but just making people aware that you're there that you're already in this place God I just pray Lord right now for our media team God for every life that everything just goes smooth today God but more importantly they feel the presence of God in everything that they do everything that they touch everything that they are God every situation in their life God just begin to be fulfilled all the promises of God be yes and amen. So God, our worship today, Father, we commit it to you. It doesn't matter how good we can sing or how good we can perform or do anything, God. If you are not pleased and you are not lifted high, God, God, we don't want to do it. So God, I just ask for Pastor Kevin today, Lord, that you would just frame his mind in a way that he can see clearly and he can hear clearly the voice of you, that he would just begin to speak exactly, God. I pray, Lord, that there would be no hindrance or no barrier on his mind today, God, that there would be no hindrance and no boundaries or things that he feels that are off limits, God. I pray, Lord, that you just absolutely just take the reins, Lord, and just continue to just move him in a direction, God, that you know is right for all of our hearts, God. God, I pray for our congregation today, God. God, I pray for the wounded, the hurting. God, those that are coming today and they are just tired of being tired. God, I pray a place this we create an atmosphere of encouragement, that we create an atmosphere of peace in the midst of so much chaos and noise, God. May we just bring a, a sweetness to their lives. Don't let us ever get jaded. Don't ever let us go through the motions just because it's what we do every Sunday. But God, absolutely just begin to move our hearts every week in a different way, God. To the point that we see something different every time that we put on a guitar or that we step up to a microphone or that we sit down in one of these chairs, God. That we see something different and we see someone different, God. I just ask right now, Lord, that you would just bind our hearts together, God. Make everybody in this room, Lord, even more sensitive, Lord, to you and to one another. Just bind our hearts together today, God.
Oh, we love you, Jesus. We just worship you. We fill this room with thankfulness. May we never, ever forget why we are here, why we came to this place, why we are in this moment together, God. you do for me even when I don't deserve it thank you for what you saved for me even when I never heard it I thank you Lord for loving me thank you for loving me thank you for guiding me thank you for keeping me says it, I'll say thank you. When no one may say it, I'll say it again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll say it again. Thank you. feel good this morning. I feel like God's going to do something, that he's going to speak something in a brand new way. So if you guys, it is now 1030. If you want to play something, Dale, that's a little more, uh, just more feeling this morning. I think I'm in my feels <laughs> and I love it. So I just continue that prayer and continue that moment of just getting ready for worship this morning. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be awesome. 